Hi guys and welcome back to the farmhouse. Today I overfed our sourdough starter and have way too much. So we are going to make a quick last minute batch of sourdough soft pretzels. These are a family favorite and the kids absolutely love them for snacks. You can find the recipe on our website if you're looking for it. So let's jump right in. In the bowl of your stand mixer, you wanna to mix together the starter, active starter, water, honey, and salt. Mix that together with a spatula. And then you want to add in your bread flour. Use your spatula to bring all the ingredients together as much as possible. And note the dough is going to be very stiff. Um, when I'm measuring ingredients for any of my sourdough recipes, I always measure everything in grams. It just makes for a more precise baking and there's less room for error. So once I get all of this mixed together, then I'm going to put it on my stand mixer to mix for about six to seven minutes until it comes together into a nice dough. Like I said, it is going to be a very stiff dough. Once it's all come together, I'm going to cover the bowl and let it rest at room temperature for 8 to 12 hours. After the dough has rested for 8 to 12 hours, I am going to put my silicone baking mats on my cookie sheets. If you don't have silicone baking mats, you can also use parchment paper. And then I'm going to turn the dough out on a clean work surface. I always make sure my work surface is floured just to make sure nothing sticks. And then you are going to cut your dough into 16 equal pieces. This is a double batch of pretzels, so 32 equal pieces. Once you have it all cut down, and I work 16 pieces at a time, as you can see, you're going to take each piece and roll the dough into a long rope shape. And then you're gonna set it on the counter in a U shape, lift the ends of the rope, twist them over two times, fold the twist over and press the dough into each other, making sure that you give it a good pinch so it sticks together. This takes a little bit of practice, but once you get the hang of it, you'll find your rhythm. So I keep doing this with all of my pieces of dough. I normally work one tray at a time. It just seems a little easier for me. Once I get them all done, I cover the dough to let it rest for rest and rise for another 30 to 60 minutes until the pretzels are nice and puffy.
Um, right before they are done, I preheat my oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and make sure my oven rack is in the center. I also boil a large pot of water with two tablespoons of baking soda and one tablespoon of brown sugar. While you're waiting for your water to boil, go ahead and crack an egg in a bowl and get that all mixed up. You can also add some water to it. Then you want to boil your pretzels 30 seconds on each side. I normally do about three to five pretzels per pot. It really depends on just how big the pretzels are. But 30 minutes per side and then back on the tray. Once I have all of the pretzels boiled, I will go ahead and coat them all with the egg wash and sprinkle some kosher salt. Now we like the bigger kosher salt on our pretzels, so not the fine, but I've done it both ways and it tastes the same. It's just really your preference. Then you are going to bake your pretzels at 425 degrees for about 17 minutes or until they are golden brown. Pull them out, let them cool a little bit, and enjoy. If you guys like this recipe, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more from scratch recipes from the farmhouse, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified the next time we upload a new video. Thanks so much for visiting the farmhouse and we'll talk to you guys soon.